Okay, so you've done all your preparation work and now you're ready to start adding content to your Blackboard course shell. Today's video is all about the syllabus tool and how you can use it to add content in your course. Greetings to all, Dr. X here. Good to see ya. Okay. So now this video is for those of you who are building course content in Blackboard. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to add content using the syllabus tool. Now remember what I said before, I'm just giving you the minimum amount you need in order to add content to your course so that you're ready to go when students start returning um, next week or the week after, depending on when your in institution is going to restart. So. Um, take a few minutes, take a deep breath, and now let's go ahead and start working with the syllabus tool in Blackboard. Okay, let's go ahead and start adding content to our Blackboard shell. Now, the uh, demonstration shell I'm using here is a development server that has development shells for um, courses that I'm developing for an institution I teach at part-time. Uh, so that's why if mine looks a little different than yours, um, it's only because we have a, it's like a sandbox that we um, do development course work in. And so I am going to be using one of my development shells for this demonstration. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go over to your um, syllabus, your Microsoft Word document, and what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of the content and you're going to copy it. So we're going to use the content directly from your syllabus to paste it into the Blackboard shell. So go ahead and um, select it, copy it, to go and log in to your Blackboard Learn area. Remember you saved it on your toolbar, you saved the uh, bookmark it, Go ahead and go to the bookmark and log in and then what you should see is what I see, a list of your courses. So when you go in, you'll see a completely blank home page. No content will be there. You'll see a few links over on the left hand side that are the typical links that show up for your um, institution. That's perfectly fine. We're going to add content to the home page later. Today is not that day. Instead, what we're going to do is focus on the syllabus. Now, before we get started, one of the first things we have to do is turn on edit mode. Blackboard has this feature that if edit mode is turned off, then you can't see the places, um, all of the links on your navigation bar and you won't be able to edit your home page. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go and turn on edit. Takes it a minute. There you go. So notice how now you can see um, the options to build content, add partner content, um, go to your home page, and now notice the syllabus showed up. The syllabus wasn't showing before because it's hidden from students right now. And that's okay, we'll fix that in a few minutes. So now I want you to go ahead and click on syllabus. You're going to take your cursor and you're going to put it inside of this field. Uh, Let's justify it. There you go. You're going to put your cursor inside that field. And if you are working on a PC, you right mouse click and paste and the content will be added. If you're working on a mouse, you have to hit the con command key and V and that will paste everything into your screen. Okay. So now all of your content has been added from your revised syllabus. If you scroll down, you can double check it. What you'll need to do though, is there is content that'll need to be reformatted. So when Blackboard copied it over, some of the formatting may have been, um, may be off. So here, as you can see, the font size is too large. It copied it over and made it super big. We wanna get it back to 12 points. So you'll go through your whole syllabus and you'll make corrections. Notice how there's all this extra white space. You can go and delete that. So you're going to go through and you're going to do edits on your content. Make sure it looks the way that you want it to look. And then you're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down on the screen here. And you're going to attach a copy of your syllabus as well. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, you want to attach it so students can have it to download the information. So go ahead and click Browse. 
and then the different areas of your computer where you have options to uh, for your syllabus. There's my syllabus right there. I'm going to open, click open. And now when I save this, it will be saved um, with a copy of the syllabus attached. Next, you get to choose, do you want users to see the content? Yes, I do. Do you want to track the visits or track the views? You don't have to. You can click no. Or if you do want to see how many of them actually look at the syllabus, then go ahead and click yes. And then you're going to set the days and times when it becomes available for students. Um, if my class starts again on the 23rd of March, then I'll go ahead and set it for the day before. And then that way I can make sure that it's visible for students. Or you can set it for the day the class starts, um, which would be 12 p.m. on the 23rd, uh, 12 a.m., sorry, on the 23rd. You don't have to set an end date. You don't have to set one, but if you'd like to, um, go ahead and set this for whenever the class ends. I always set mine for the last day of uh, class because after that, all the students are really interested in is what their final grade is anyway. <laughs> okay, so then once you're all done, you've got the content added. You've added a copy of your syllabus. You've attached the copy. The only other thing I'll do after I've submitted it, because I'll submit it again in a second, is at the bottom of the syllabus, I want to put an update, right? So I keep a list of uh, tracking all of the changes I've made in the syllabus. So I made this change on the 13th, um, 2020. And then I just say changes... maybe one. Okay, so spring break 2020. Let's just make it fun for the students. Like they didn't know that it was 2020, but I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so now you're going to click submit. By clicking submit, what you're doing is you're saving the content of the syllabus so that when the students come through and see it, um, it'll be, it'll save all the changes that you've made so the students will see the latest update and revision. And now our syllabus is all done. Wasn't that easy? So, And just like that, your syllabus is all done. Now that syllabus can last you through the end of the semester if you don't make any changes. But if you do make some changes, remember now you know how to do that, okay? All right, so that takes care of your syllabus. Next up, in the next video, I'll go ahead and cover with you how to make changes on your course homepage. We're just going to make a static homepage um, that your students will see every time that they log in. And on the next video, I may also do an assignment or two. Okay, maybe an assignment or two. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you want to continue watching the series of getting your course up and running, go ahead and click the subscribe button um, and click the little bell so you know when the next video comes out. Thanks so much for watching and have a terrific night.